Good evening. This is a very special occasion as we gather here to remember Morris and all that Morris did for the matter. It is wonderful that we are now fundraising for a new hybrid theatre which will be named after him. We have so many happy memories. He was a great friend, a marvellous worker, and we all miss him. I had the great pleasure of working with Morris Nelligan over a long number of years. Morris and I would have first worked back in 1970 when I was a newly graduated staff nurse and he was a senior registrar on the cardiac thoracic team which at that time was pioneering cardiac surgery. I was working in the intensive care unit. Morris was very proud of his daughter Sarah that she chose nursing as a profession. He was very proud that she trained at the Matter Hospital and he was very proud that he had the opportunity to work with Sarah as a professional colleague in the intensive care unit. Morris was a wonderful colleague, a wonderful friend and a skilled and gifted surgeon. I first met Morris in the spring of 1974 when as a young um, basic surgical trainee in Our Lady's Hospital in Crumlin, uh, Morris came in uh, to start the congenital heart, open, uh, the congenital heart program uh, in children. And um, he was just so approachable and so nice uh, and so enthusiastic and encouraging. Uh, it really uh, stimulated my interest uh, in open heart surgery. Later on, I had the privilege of working with them as a, a register before uh, I left to um, go to Belfast as a senior register. Um, it was a real privilege coming back in 1983 to uh, work with them as a colleague. Uh, we operated on uh, Eddie Kelly uh, in uh, September 1985, and fortunately uh, that went very well, and that was the beginning of the programme. But it was just an example of Morris's um, great enthusiasm, but not just his enthusiasm, his uh, intellectual uh, uh, and abilities and his breadth of knowledge uh, in medical matters, in particular uh, surgery. Uh, he encouraged the development of uh, intensive care uh, and all the associated specialties that were necessary to get cardiac surgery to its present standard. And for 30 years or more, uh, I was very fortunate to uh, consider him uh, as a colleague and trusted friend. A couple of uh, years ago, decades at this stage, I was a busy SHO in the department, keeping the head down, probably running around like a head headless chicken, as one does. And uh, Morris took me aside and you know, said to me, would you think about doing cardiothoracic surgery? When he said it to me at the time, I I wanted to turn around and say, in fact, you operated on my brother when he was two. And uh, I mean, Morris's name in my family would be so well respected. Uh, my parents would see that Morris had given my younger brother back, uh, you know, a life. Uh, and um, we're very grateful to him for that. Um, and so when I became a consultant, um, I think I was about 33, I was a local consultant at the time in Harefield in, in, in London, in Brampton. And um, I was going to write Morris a card and thank him, uh, but it probably wasn't quite the right time. And uh, I regret uh, not being able to, to say thank you to him. And I had hoped that I would have met him face to face and shook his hand and, you know, uh, thank him for all his effort over the years. Uh, but unfortunately, he passed away before I got a chance to come back to Ireland to say that to him. So uh, I'm just possibly sending, saying this to his family now. and. Um, this is just a tribute to him and to, you know, to say how, how such a great man he was. I'm delighted to know that the new state-of-the-art cardiovascular surgery hybrid operating room is to be named after Morris Nelligan. I think it's fitting that this new leading-edge facility for cardiac surgery is to be named after the man who gave so much to the development of cardiac surgery in Ireland over 30 years. He was a pleasure to work with always, and we fondly remember him for that.
Hello, uh, my name is Andy Kavanagh. Uh, I'm a 46 year old native of Dublin. I first met Morris Nelligan in 1985. At that stage I was 19 years of age. I was a very sick, sick young man. Uh, I had a, an illness called congestive cardiomyopathy, which resulted in me needing uh, a cardiac transplant. Uh, when I met Morris in 1985, it was a daunting occasion because as a young lad being told you had to have a, a major heart transplant. Uh, it was very frightening, you know, but when I met Morris he reassured me and told me that, you know, things looked good and everything else and he just put, put me at ease with the whole situation. And in 1986, May of 1986, I successfully had a heart transplant which was performed by Morris. And 27 years later, I am still active, alive, working. Uh, I've been, I've been I was married since then. I have a lovely daughter of 23 years of age, and I cycle 15 to 20 miles most days of the week after work. And this is all down to the greatness of Morris Nelligan, because without people like him having the foresight and the knowledge of being able to carry out this sort of surgery, these things would not be possible at all. And I'd like to extend my sincere gratitude to Morris and to his family as well. I, like many others, had the pleasure to know Morris Nelligan. Um, he was a typical Irish man in many ways. He was very much a family man. Um, I loved Pat dearly and told a lot of stories about her, uh, most of them uh, quite funny with some ridicule at times. He was very proud of all of his seven uh, children equally and uh, often uh, told stories about them as well and, and inevitably it was funny and someone was uh, being slagged. Um, he worked hard, uh, worked extremely hard but he also enjoyed life as well. He was very popular and loved um, getting down to places like uh, uh, Glenbay and Kerry and places where he met uh, what he is called where his real friends and he could just literally say anything to them and, um, and uh, he had great uh, privacy down there. As regards training he was a great uh, mentor and I, I think the reason he was maybe is because he had part of it anyway because he had seven children. He was very patient and um, and he always saw the good in what you were trying to do as regards trainees in, in uh, medicine or surgery or uh, the nursing staff or perfusion or, or any of the disciplines. Um, but I remember one point early in my career really noticing that a student nurse uh, was scrubbed with him and she was very young and junior and uh, obviously uh, it was, it was uh, a challenging day for her. But she was put in to scrub with him um, because of his gentleness and his kindness and his patience. And she handed him the first three needles for the first three grafts and the needle was pointing the wrong way on the needle holder each time. And the third time, and he never said anything, but the third time she copped it because he changed the needle each time. And she said, oh sorry Mr. Nelligan. And he just said, well that's okay love. And on he went with the operation. And I just thought if her parents could have seen the interaction, they'd have been very proud um, of that interaction in that theatre. And that was Morris Nelligan. Lights will guide you home and ignite your bones. And I will try to fix 